Hi, Micro Punter here again. And do you see this uh, cucumber over there? Well, I think it's not only the most colorful cucumber, but also the most dangerous one. Colorful because of all of the bacterial colonies that are growing on the cucumber, and dangerous because all of the bacterial colonies that are growing on this cucumber as well. Because this cucumber is so rotten that I think it would be a real health hazard if I were to eat it, but it's good enough for me to put it under the microscope and I will show you bacteria today, a lot of bacteria, thousands of them. So let's get started. Well, there are hundreds of bacterial and fungal colonies growing on the cucumber. They have uh, different colors and sizes. And under the microscope, we can see that the bacterial colonies, they look shiny, uh, just like uh, this one here. And uh, each colony contains billions of individual bacterial cells. The fungus, however, they grow differently. They, f they look a little bit fuzzy, just like cotton. And here you have a mixture of both of them next to each other. And you can also see that the bacterial colonies, they come in different colors um, and also consistencies here. And I used to grow them also in the lab uh, many years ago. And I found this one picture here of me holding one of these petri dishes. And as a matter of fact, I was doing a genetic study. It must have been back in 1994 or 1995 when I took this picture. Yes, well, normally you grow bacteria in petri dishes and I'm going to show you now how I used to make them. You use, uh, you use yeast extract uh, to mix uh, your medium. Then you have to heat it up and you have to boil it uh, in a, at a very hot temperature to kill everything off, any contaminants, and then you pour those plates. And uh, on those plates, uh, they basically are a very suitable way of growing bacteria. And each of these dots that you see now, that once uh, was one single bacterial cell that grew into a colony. So they multiply exponentially. And uh, then after a couple of days, you can see um, those colonies. And in my case, I've grown those uh, bacterial colonies um, involuntarily, though, on a cucumber. So, and what I want to do now. Now is I want to uh, take off uh, a bacterial colony to look under the microscope and in order to do that I have to disinfect my inoculating loop with uh, a flame and after it cooled down I'm picking up uh, one bacterial colony and I'm suspending it in a drop of uh, water on my microscope slide and uh, of course the bacteria are barely visible maybe there is a little bit of uh, yeah it looks a little bit cloudy maybe but uh, it's uh, not really a lot that I'm uh, putting on the slide afterwards of course I have to definitely uh, dis disinfect everything again uh, using uh, a lighter normally you use a Bunsen burner unfortunately I don't have one at home and uh, afterwards uh, after this has been properly sterilized I place of course uh, the cover glass uh, on top of the slide and everything goes under the microscope and in Brightfield I was already very lucky to see millions well maybe not millions but at least uh, several thousand bacteria and uh, you can see that they're moving now from the top right to the bottom left and the reason is is that, that the water under the cover glass is evaporating and this causes uh, this uh, streaming um, of the bacteria they appear to wiggle around uh, but I think that this could also be Brownian motion um, I'm going to later show you another um, video where you can actually see them move around um, in a much more directed manner uh, but these I think are just moving around because of a uh, Brownian motion and of course I've uh, collected a few more colonies uh, from the cucumber and and also observed them. But then I decided I have to change microscopes because uh, I wanted to observe the bacteria now using phase contrast microscopy um, because uh, the bacteria are much more easily visible. And now here we go, look at this, how they're whizzing around here. Um, this is now, these are now motile bacteria and it's clear now that they have a very strong directional movement. Now phase contrast microscopes are generally a little bit expensive, uh, but they do have the advantage that you you're able to see uh, transparent specimens just like bacteria a little bit better and uh, therefore um, they are quite often used in bacteriology if you want to see a uh, bacteria however I think it is not absolutely necessary to have a phase contrast microscope but it's nice to have one in any case 
Yeah, and you can see here hundreds and thousands of bacteria. Now I'm rotating the camera just to give it a little special effects. Looks kind of nice uh, to see so many cells moving around. Um, I have to admit uh, one thing that uh, bacteria still are not really the most interesting type of specimen to observe using a microscope. Um, and in many cases they're quite difficult to see actually because uh, they're so small and transparent. Now look, uh, on the left side, do you see this? Uh, moving. This is a gigantic air bubble which is now moving towards the right because the water under the slide is evaporating. This is now in real time and this also causes the bacteria to stream um, around a little bit. And uh, of course uh, one of the things that I also want to mention is that if you're interested in microscopy then I would like to recommend that you visit uh, my um, Amazon microscopy shop. I put a link below um, and uh, then you can also um, start uh, amateur microscopy if you're interested. And now a little bit of time lapse again. And at the end, of course, everything has to go into the trash, into the compost. Well, that's it uh, again. Uh, watch uh, the food and the vegetables that you keep in your refrigerator that you do not also unknowingly grow um, bacteria on your vegetables. As a matter of fact, uh, these are unknown bacteria that I'm growing there. I do not have to automatically assume that they're harmful, but you don't know what you're growing. So in this case, uh, don't uh, touch uh, rotten vegetables and certainly don't uh, contact uh, them uh, with uh, if you have a wound on your finger or anything and uh, certainly don't eat them would be horribly disgusting anyway well i wish you a nice day happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time again bye bye